All of us at the Dub Network and Harps Court would like to thank the crew at Herman Marshall Whiskey for being such a tremendous partner. Herman Marshall is known for their handcrafted, award-winning small batch whiskey. Whether it is their Texas bourbon, Texas rye, Texas single malt, or their blended bourbon whiskey, all of their whiskeys are built from the grain up, just like good whiskey should be. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Harps Court. I'm your host, of course, Derek Harper. My co-host is Mark Aguirre. And if you see him, tell him that I'm looking for him. <laughs> and I told you to keep watching my show because we're going to have some guests on here that are going to blow you away from time to time. Hall of Fame type guys and a guy that I competed against for a lot of years in the NBA. It's none other than the new Hall of Famer, Tim Hardaway. I'm not going to use the, the junior, but there is a junior too, but... Man, I want to know right off the bat, how you doing? What's going man, on? Man, man, uh, it's great, man. You know, uh, how you living? I'm living great, man. <laughs> you know, just just watching my son play is yeah. just you know outstanding. Uh -huh. um, new grandbaby, yeah, uh, yeah. only grandbaby, yes, uh, sir. granddaughter. She's 13 months. Mm -hmm. um, the joy of our lives right now, That's just great. walking around, just having fun. Uh, you know, my daughters, they doing their thing, yeah. you know, that wife, you know, I'm just, man, just, I'm just blessed, man. I, man Happy I, feelings in the air yes, is what it sounds all, like. all the time, man, yeah. all the time. And, um, that's where it's supposed to be, man. Mm -hmm. And I just, um, uh, I'm just enjoying life still. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful to say. You know, I talked about us battling. Right. And man, did we, when you were in Golden State, we had some, some wars, I would. Yes. Which brings me to the war that's going on. Between Isaiah and Michael Jordan. Oh, oh! And I know Isaiah, your homeboy, Ooh. West Side of Chicago, Ooh. and all of that, right? <laughs> what do you What do you think about? What do you make of it, Tim? I know you've heard both sides. I mean, and you know Zeke don't play. That's Zeke. all I'm gonna say. I love Mike, but Zeke does not play. That's all I can say. I'm from Chicago, man. That's Grew right. up. That's right. You know, raised there. I understand what Zeke was talking about. You know, Zeke is like, yeah, you know. I, I, I let him walk around, you right. know, I let him walk around on I the let, West side, on the West side, you know, I, I, it was real quiet for him. <laughs> I know exactly what he's talking about. And, um, but, uh, it, it's, um, it's kind of sad, mm -hmm. you know, because, uh, basketball, it, with the way we grew up and how we played, uh, we took a lot of things personal. Mm-hmm. You know, we went out. We went after you, and, and, and if you if you got us that game, that next game, you yep. better you best believe. Yep. Bring you behind we, the next. Game. Yeah. <laughs> we coming at you. Yeah. We coming at you, and and for our whole career, we coming at you. It's personal. Yeah. Uh, I think um, how you know Mike kind of disrespected Isaiah, Facts. and um, um, Isaiah is very upset about it. He wanted an apology, mm -hmm. and. Um, and when you keep talking about it, keep talking about it, uh, you know, we all got egos. Yeah. And you all, and, and sometimes, you know, a person maybe got to look at himself and say, you know, I might have done something in the wrong way mm -hmm. if this guy is still talking about it mm -hmm. and still got feelings about Nobody it. Nobody is above that. Either, right. What you're right. Talking about. Right. Nobody is above it. I think that he, uh, you know, I think he should reach out mm -hmm. to one of the greatest guys before you, yeah, and you should talk to him and 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 and, and, and put it to amends. That, that, that's what I would say to yeah. Michael. You know, because 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 Isaiah, he he's he's great people. Yeah, we yeah. know he's great people. Yeah, yeah. He does a lot. He did a lot of things for this league. Yes, and Mike, you did a lot of things for this league. Uh, Just you, ask Chris Weber. Yeah. Yeah. What a great guy yeah. Isaiah is because yeah. he, he kind of mentored Chris. Yes. While he was at Michigan. Yes. When he was in Detroit. Yes. Yeah. So. So, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's, I just think that um, that should that, that should be a talk between them two. Yeah. You, you, you think <laughs> just, that talk just, is ever going to happen to him? No. <laughs> you, you know, know Mike. I, you know Mike. You know Mike. Mike is Mike. Is, Mike, is Mike. Mike you know is Mike. Mike is the goat. Yeah, Mike is the and goat. He acts like the goat. He, got, hey, <laughs> he carries himself. Hey man, as that the man goat. walking around with billions of dollars. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you and know, don't don't think that he has to uh, to answer to anybody. Yes, so yes. For whatever it's worth, man. What, what, when 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 did you know, man? You were 
Hall of Fame caliber type player when you were young. You weren't recruited heavy. No. Out of high school no. um, in Chicago. Ended up going to Mexi- school in Mexico. You tap. I mean, you tell, beg your pardon, yeah. beg your pardon. I knew yeah. that. But did you ever, in your wildest dream crossover, did you ever think, shit, you would be called a Hall of Famer, man? Man, I'm going to tell you this, Derek. <laughs> Derek. Call me well, Hart, man. You don't call Harp. me Derek I, I, I was, no okay, other Harp. time. <laughs> right, right. Correct. Uh, Hart, I'm going to tell you this, man. When I was growing up in the city of Chicago, I played basketball because I had fun playing the game of basketball. Yeah. I enjoyed playing the game of basketball. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed going out there competing. I enjoyed going out there studying different guys and watching them play and taking some stuff from them. I enjoyed going out there and, and talking a bunch of cash money shit mm-hmm. and, and, <laughs> and, and, and busting people asses. That's right. Um, people, you know... Uh, you know, they say I was too small. I was always, always, always a guy that ne- nobody took me seriously. Right. Nobody um, um, thought that I could make it. Mm-hmm. And that's what drove me to who I am today. Yes, sir. That's who. That's what drove my confidence. That's what drove me to go out there and to play hard and to show people that you're wrong about me. a chip me on your shoulder. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Because I was always... Uh, the guy that was best of the rest. Well, I wasn't even the best of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they just never talked to me, you know, right. and, and prime example, uh, a lot of people said that, um, you know, you went to UTEP. I said, man, nothing was wrong with UTEP. Right. Don Haskins, the bear and what he did for college basketball, right. what he did for basketball in general. Yes, sir. Y'all need to know y'all history about, uh-huh. it, you know? So, <laughs> um, it. and I wasn't really, Heavily recruit. I wanted to go to Illinois. Yeah. I wanted to go to DePaul. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wanted to go to Oklahoma, but they, they had these other guards. Yeah. So I knew I, 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 so I went to a school, uh, where I had to wait my turn mm-hmm. and, and work at my game, work at my craft yes, sir. and just get better at, at the game of basketball. And I had a great coach, but never, never, never did I think that I would make the NBA first. Because I, I just played the game of basketball and I love playing the game. Mm-hmm. And I never knew in my wildest dreams that I had a chance to make the NBA. You didn't until, just make it, man. You was a damn all I know, I'm, but, but I'm talking You're about. Hall of Fame, I know, but I'm talking about. I'm talking <laughs> no, about. I know. I, I'm, I'm joking. As I was, yeah, as I was in, in college, mm-hmm. I played against you all in the summer league. Mm-hmm. Up at Chicago State. At Chicago State, yeah. IIT. And, um, Played against Michael, and Michael said, "You know, you have a chance. Mm-hmm. You know, just that, just hearing that. Yeah, I never heard that before. Mm-hmm. Nobody said, you know, you 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 got a chance of making an NBA. He said, you have a chance. Mm-hmm. I took that and took it to another level. And you know how you say it, it, you only need a crack in a window. Yeah, I just need that Leave crack. The door open just, just a little just bit. Just a little bit." <laughs> I kicked that motherfucker in. <laughs> That's right. You damn sure did. You- I kicked it in. And, you know, I'm going to tell you this again, Hart. Another story. A guy in, in San Francisco, he was a, a sports anchor. Uh-huh. And my first year, he was like, you Hall of Fame. I said, right. what are you talking you gotta about? Crazy, right? You got to be This is my first year. He said, no, no. You Hall of Fame right now. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like, man, please. And sure enough, my career is over with. I'm in the Hall of Fame, but... He told me this my first year, and I never thought nothing of it. Mm-hmm. Speaking of your first year, you got teamed up with some some pretty, no, uh, no pretty solid guys as far as the game is concerned. Chris Mullins to be one. Uh, Mitch Richmond, mm-hmm. who people have forgotten. Yes. You know what I mean? How yes. damn good Mitch was. Yes. There were not many fucking guys in the league that I didn't want to guard. He was one of them. Yeah. He was one of those guys. Well, you were too. I have to admit that. <laughs> But Mitch Richmond, Chris Mullen, those guys, Mitch is not in the hall. Chris is in the hall. No, they both in the hall. I didn't know Mitch was. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I, I stand yeah. corrected on that one. I didn't know Mitch got in. Well, it was a quiet get in. Yes. Because he never got the credit that he deserves. Correct. And, they, you know, you all had that one of Run DMC. How did that come about? Yeah, Run TMC. Run T, you would tell me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking the boys. <laughs> You're right. Oh yeah. Rappers. Oh yeah. Actually, Chris Mullen went to uh, college with one of them. Oh okay. Yeah. So uh, he knows them very well. But yeah, you know, we we was um, we just we 
back then, you didn't have to say anything. Mm-hmm. You know, in practice, you go over stuff. You, mm-hmm. you talk to your teammates. Yeah, yeah. You look at, but in the game, you look at somebody. You look at your teammate. You know, your ear. You know, and you, you might do like this. Mm-hmm. You know, you had a great guy that you played with, Davis, Brad Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Cut back the, the, the back. The, the, <laughs> Brad was underrated too. People always talk about Brad. I used to go home and they used to talk about Brad like he was like he was a casual or something. I'm like, man, Brad can play. Brad can play. Yeah. Brad can play. Don Nelson, he said. If Brad Davis backdoor you on this play, I'm finding your butt. No, no, you coming out the game. You're not playing no more. Because <laughs> you know he was getting ready to set you up. Dude, he got one of those a, a game. Yeah, absolutely. One of those a game. So, but but see, y'all had a chemistry. Mm-hmm. Y'all knew that's what he could do. Absolutely. And you know, y- y'all look for it every game. Mm-hmm. And he got somebody every game. That's what we did. You know. I, I, and I tell my son, in today's game, you all don't pay attention to details. Yeah, little details. L- just little details yeah. that can get you over. Mm-hmm. You know, y'all don't communicate with each other. Like, I'm going to go back door. You know, you might do your eyes like this. That means I'm going back door. Look mm-hmm. for me going back door. You know, it's, it's just tendencies that we did yeah. that, that they don't do today. And I say, y'all communication is not like our communication. Yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, our communication with uh, Mitch and Chris, I knew when they wanted to go back door. I knew yeah. when they want, want, wanted to curl. I knew when they was popping out for a jump shot. Yes. I could hear them on each side. I'm on your left. I'm on your right. Yes. You know, I just I just knew them. And, and we and that's how we practice each and every day. We practice. And, you know, back then we played one-on-one All after, the time. after practice. It was a two religion. Two-on-two, two, two <laughs> yes. three-on-three. We just wanted to get better, mm-hmm. get better, get better, get better. And, um... Uh, and that's what I say today in today's game. You see the Golden State Warriors, how they communicate, mm-hmm. how they pass the ball, Great how example. they move. Yeah. You know, even in um you, you see uh um Brooklyn Nets now, they doing the same thing. Yep. And and that, that's what I love. I love that game of basketball when you communicate and you 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 run an offense and you get each other involved. You know, man, you uh you 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 you're a student of the game still, you scout in the NBA, still still involved in the game. And for whatever reason, we love, Jim, if you would, to compare errors against <laughs> errors, players against players. Yep. Oh, Kobe's the next Michael Jordan. <laughs> Kobe's the next Kobe. Uh, Luka is the next Larry Bird, or, or the next somebody, right? Right. How, how do you view the game now? What do you think about the NBA? Because a lot of people say it's soft, it's this, it's that. To me, the game is still a beautiful game. Certainly has yes. changed. Do you still enjoy the game of basketball? Yes, I do. I think, uh, you know, the game has changed. The game is going to always change. Yep, revolve. You know, uh, when, when we was growing up, it was, you know, physical, physicality, physicality. Mm-hmm. Then the Detroit Pistons took that physicality to another level. Yeah, and then we were talking about Michael Jordan right. and, and Isaiah earlier. Right. That's where a lot of this stuff comes from. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then you get to, in the 2000s, uh, when they changed the rules that you mm-hmm. could play zone here and there. Mm-hmm. Hand uh, check. Hand check. No, no more hand check, all that <laughs> right. type of stuff. Because we grew up like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, and now they don't. They don't hand check. You got to really, really move your feet and yeah. stay in, in front of somebody. And that's very difficult to do. And um, But I still love the game. And, and, and I think that the the people that run offense, mm-hmm. they, they, they make the game easier. The people that don't run offense doesn't make the game easy. So I, I, I say well, all offense is, and you can disagree if you want to, but all offense is now is pick and roll. You, I, and, 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 and you know what? That's all it is. That, but, but, but I'm, but I'm, but, but I'm, go ahead. but I'm, but I'm going to say this. If you look at Golden State, mm-hmm. they throw it inside to somebody that can't post up <laughs> and then they curl and then they do well, a move and then and, they and, do and, the hot, the hornet set. John. Exa- shit, exactly. Which exactly. is the hardest. Yes. The hardest damn yes. offense to guard. Yes. Because you come in and you're setting a screen for yes. another guy to come off of. Yes. While the guy operates in the block. Exactly. Yeah. That, and, that's and, tough and, to defend. And, and the guy that's operating in the block for them, you know, with Carl Malone, <laughs> Carl Malone was different. Yeah, All right? right, you had you had to, you had, but they got Draymond Green. Yeah. He's not looking to score. He's not a threat. He's not a threat. He's looking to pass the ball, and and you and you still can't guard that. 
So I, I say, you know, it's, it's all pick and roll and I hate it, but that's the way it is. But, um, you know, I, I love Luca. I love yeah. Luca. You know, I, 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 I like what he does, yeah. but you got to make your team better. Yeah. You know, and I and I and I listen to these commentators. Yeah. You know, ESPN, not even TNT, ESPN, just period. Just period yeah. You yeah. know, but I, this is my thing. They do have a team. Mm -hmm. They do have some players mm -hmm. that can make plays. Mm -hmm. Oh no if doubt. They, if they run offense, and they will be able to show them that they can make plays, but mm -hmm. they don't run offense to give those guys a chance yeah. to make a play. Only thing they doing is standing out there for like for 23 seconds. Yeah. And then you're supposed to catch and shoot. <laughs> I mean, you, you, and then hey, sometimes, listen. and then sometimes you, you, you can't, you don't get the ball for like five, six, seven minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and no, you just you, run up and down the court. Well, that, and, and I try to tell people this, Tim, when it comes to playing with a ball dominant player, where clearly Luca. His uh, his usage rate yes, is, is high. First, first or second in the NBA. Yes, yes. And I always, Steve Nash was that way as well. Yes. I always say when you have the basketball for a large percent of the shot clock, you better make sure you damn make the right play at the end. And it's virtually impossible for you to, like you're saying, to be a guy that get, catches and shoot. It's hard to make damn shots. Yes. When you haven't felt the ball and you haven't been involved Correct. with it and all of that stuff, it's hard to make shots. Correct. I, I'm with you. I love Luca. He, he's one. He's going to be one, go down as one of the best players no ever question. to play. No question. But when I watch Golden State, I see different teams. When you move the basketball, the game becomes fun. Yes. And I look at teams that have the most assists in the NBA right now. Most of the time, those teams are successful. Yes, exactly. No question. Yeah, that, that, no that, question. that's just my take take on on on, on all mine too. Mine yeah, too. Yeah, and I, mean, I, 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 I and it frustrates me when you my son can't get in rhythm, right? You know, or or, or I see <laughs> some other guys can't get in <laughs> rhythm, guess. and that, that's hey, just me. I hear you. You know, you that's can, just, yeah. that's just me. And oh, Jay I, I, I Well, well, you know, that's some other stuff. <laughs> we, I know we, that's some other. The Jay Kid, my guy too. My guy too. But, but, yeah, you know, that's good. some other stuff we can't get into right now. You Why? know, it's a podcast. It's a podcast. Okay. Well, you know, I I, I love Jay Kid, but his hands are tied. <laughs> his hands are tied. Hey, I'm just saying, we're not we're not doing the politically correct thing on hard yeah, his, court. Yeah. Well, his hands are tied, and, <laughs> and he and he can't really you know run the things that he want to run. And how you want to run them? Yeah, and you got to do what's best for your team as right. well. You know, right. everybody, like I never forget talking to uh, one of the execs for the Wizards when they had John Wall, Bradley Bill. Oh yeah, and Tim, they were talking about, oh, we're trying to model the Warriors. The Warriors had just won two championships in a row, right? Right. And I was trying to explain to him that you need that kind of personnel, Tim, in order to be successful. You can't just jump up out of bed one day and say, hey. We're gonna mock the uh, the Golden State Warriors. No, you not, can't, and not have that no, person. No, you can't. You for, can't. For, yeah, for whatever it's worth. Who had the biggest impact on your career? And I, I briefly saw your, I saw some of your speech, but in your opinion, who had the biggest impact on Tim Hardaway Jr. Now that you're in the Hall of Fame, the biggest impact that my son had. Uh, no, no, you, me. The biggest, who was the big, the, the most influential person in your basketball career? Uh, I would say. And why? It, it, it was, it was my grammar school coach. Mm -hmm. He, um, he molded me into the player I am today. Um, he instilled confidence in me. Mm -hmm. He, um. Uh, Worked on the fundamentals, the fundamentals from the very get go. Yeah. Dribbling, you know. No, first of all, running around the gym, fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, calisthenics. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just the fundamentals basics. of the basics of just getting your body ready to yeah. play the game of basketball. Yeah. And he got me to to understand how to run a team, who needs the ball. Uh, uh, how to take over a game. He just, he, and I, and I still talk to him today mm -hmm. and, and he still gives me advice with Tim. Well, you know, 
uh, tell Tim to do this and tell him mm-hmm. to do that and Bubba, mm-hmm. you remember you we did this and and let's get back to the basics and this yeah, and that. I'm like yeah. yeah so yeah we he had he you know my my career that was my biggest um, influencer to helping me stay together and going out there even though my dad was a high uh, 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 um, a playground legend. Mm-hmm. He knew how to play. I didn't know that. He, yeah, he was a, a playground legend in Chicago. Yeah. Just played the game and went out there and played. Uh, but I, I could talk to him, but Donald Pittman was my grammar school coach. He was my, you know, that guy that I could talk to and and, and, and help me out with different things on the basketball court. Listen, we, we both played for Coach Riley. Give me give me something. Give me a story Ooh. with Coach Riley. <laughs> I love to do, man. That's Ooh. my guy. Bro. Love him. Rouse is my guy. I give, mean, me, give me some stories. I'm going to tell you this, man. <laughs> Rouse is a, is a guy that you you, you kind of like, he he makes you mad. Yeah, you love him and hate him at the you same time. You love him and hate him at the same time. <laughs> but he do he does anything for his team. Mm-hmm. He knows he puts you through rigorous stuff. Mm-hmm. But if you go out there and just play, he got your back. You yeah. can ask him what, about anything. He got your back. Like I need a massage. I need to. He go. He got your back. I tell you this, man. Preparation. Yeah. Preparation. Yeah. I love his preparation. I love his uh, details. Yes. I love how he just. He's always prepared. He's always detailed about a lot of stuff. Best coach you ever played for. Man. You know, you play for a lot of. Them. I, <laughs> oh, you did. I, mean, I play. A, you know, I I, I I play for three Hall of Famers. Yeah, Don Nelson, Don Haskins, and Pat Rowley. Mm, best coach, man. You preparation you right here on Harp Court. I'm gonna say it right now. The, be, the best. I, <laughs> <laughs> you can't say it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You, you tell I, me. I, I, I'm gonna say it. It was. It was. If I could put Don Nelson and Pat Rowley together, it was both of them. <laughs> right, right. It, it, it was really both of them, man. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I can't, I can't really, you know, say I love, I love playing for Nelly. Love playing for Nelly. He gave me the ball. He said, "Look, this your team. You go out there and you do what yeah. you do, and, and and you give your team confidence. Go out there and do it." Yeah. And then I go to Miami, and my and, and Pat Rowley did the same thing. Yeah. You know, he did the same thing. They trusted me. Yeah. They trusted me with their team. Mm-hmm. You know, that's big for a coach to do. And, and and he did the same way with you when you oh, yeah. came to, to New York. With New York. Yeah, absolutely. Let me let me let me say this, man. I played for both of those guys too. I played for for Don Nelson mm-hmm. in New York. He took over when right. Riles resigned, mm-hmm. actually, uh, through that little stretch, Tim. But I don't give a damn. If you're talking about trying to win a championship, yeah, Riles is right yes. there. I mean, you can't name a better coach. I don't right. care how many championships Phil Jackson has the most as a coach, right? Right. I could care less. What Don Nelson did for me late in my career is fucking saved my career <laughs> because he took me off of the point. Yeah. And yeah. at the time that he took the ball away from me in New York, I thought I was going to lose my damn mind. I did, Tim, because I never had the ball taken away. And Nelly just said, trust me. on That's an underrated coach, yes. Don Nelson. Yes. Is. He got a lot out of his personnel yes. as a coach. But he says, trust me on this, Harp. We had lunch or had dinner or something. Just trust me. Just trust me. And I'm like, okay, I want to, but I don't want to because you're taking the rock from me, right? So what he did was made Mace, the late right. Anthony Mason. Yes. Mason. Yes. He did that point forward stuff yes. like he did with Paul Pressey back yes. in the day, right? Yes. So I ended up the first, and this is an, exag- an exaggeration, to him. My first five games, six games was 20 plus. 20 plus points yeah. to start off the season because Nelly told me that I can be more benef- beneficial mm-hmm. to the team as a catch and shoot guy. So I think Don Nelson is a brilliant basketball mind. I, yes. I, I really do. I, he is. He, and he gives you the kind of freedom, even if you're a scrub offensive player, yes. where you think you are a little bit better than you are. So I, I equally like both those guys. But I had more fun playing for uh, playing for Nelly than no anybody question. I ever played. No with question. Like, I don't know how you feel. I, lo- I love playing for Nelly. We we got up and down. We ran. We yeah. scored and this and that. And I'm gonna tell you this: the way the game is played today, Don Nelson implemented that 
in 89, 90, 91, 92. A lot of guys did not. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Chris Webber didn't agree to how he wanted to use him. Yeah, Patrick Ewan didn't either. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, Patrick, Patrick Ewan, didn't like he, he didn't like it. And, and, and Patrick, you know, he he never changed his ways. Mm-hmm. Chris Webber changed his ways mm-hmm. because they, he saw how when he went to Washington and then he went to Sacramento, mm-hmm. he could bring the ball up, he could pass make it. plays, yeah. pass it, and he could do what he needed to do because yeah. Chris Webber had that type of, of game. Absolutely. You know, and, and, and but in a, when he first came to Golden State, he didn't understand that. But as his career went on, he understood it. And I and and, and I would have if if I didn't get hurt that year, I would have had I would have um uh, um uh, y'all like, had a lot of talent. Oh my team, god. Man. I would have helped Chris Damn. understand Nelly and I would have helped Nelly understand Chris right. and they would have got along much better than they did. And um but yeah, man, we had man, we had <laughs> Chris Mullen, Chris Weber, the Patrell Spreewell. If I was healthy myself, uh, we had Chris Gatlin. We had some more guys. Man, we had we had we had a had great, some real ones. Yeah, we had some real ones, dude. <laughs> dude, we 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 had some real ones. Hey Tim, listen, I, we know what Mully was. Mully was a catch and shoot guy, mm-hmm. very slick offensive player, oh, underrated ah. from New York's playgrounds, and went to St. John's, of course, but could flat ball. Never. Yes. Everybody said, you got to play with the black guys. You got to do this. You got to. Chris could play with any damn body yes. when he came into the league. But the guy I want to focus on out of your group was The Rock. Mitch. Was, was Mitch? Yeah. Yeah, Mitch. I mean, no. he's the guy. He, I mean, he was the guy. He was the guy. That was the beginning to the end when Nelly traded him. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> like years, huh? Yeah, that was the beginning to the end, man. Yeah. You know, I, I, we, we only had a year and a half. Mm-hmm. And uh, when when. when when we, I'm, I'm thinking like we got at least six years, yeah, to 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 you know get this going, figure it out. Yeah. Figure it out. You you could have got some big guys in here, trades with, with other people, whatever. But this is our core. This is us. Mm-hmm. All right, Tim Hardaway, Chris Mullen, Mitch Richmond, mm-hmm. and then you had a, a great guy coming off Real the bench and, 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 and Sharunas Marcellonis. Yes, you know so. We a lot had of people to, don't don't no, remember the lefty. No, he was the, he was the first one with the euro. Yes, you know with the <laughs> yes. uh, but you know they talking about this guy Genobi, that guy. They say Genobi he, Genobi, but yeah, yeah, okay, well he got it from Sharonis, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. one of his fellow mates. Right, right. Yeah. But you know this is our core, and and I saw Mitch and and what he could do out there against people. He had people afraid of him. He had people who didn't want to guard him. Yeah. He put he put that wood on you. He I'm put that question. you know he put that strong body on you. I and, mean, and, 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 I, I didn't see you know I crazy lo- strong. I was crazy. When 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 he's supposed to be on the All Star team, he came into practice one day and we was playing against uh, Portland Trail Blazers yeah. and he got the ball and it was like I'm going straight at you, at going Clyde. straight at, straight at you, Clyde. <laughs> I'm sorry. He went Clyde straight at him. Defend. Yeah, Clyde could defend. Clyde was he was strong too. Yeah. And I was like, wow, okay, Mitch. You know, and he he went at Jordan. He went at Joe Dumars. Everybody. He went at everybody. And he could shoot the ball, he could lay you up, dunk on you, whatever. A great defender. A lot of people sleep on his defense too. Yeah. But uh man, I mean, and like you said, a lot of people don't give him credit for what he used to do out there on the court. Mm-hmm. Listen, best player from Chicago. Best Take p- take your time. Take your time on this cuz you're going to get a lot of lot of it's Oh no, 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 no. Boys no, no. from Chicago. It's a lot I mean, of bad I'm, boys. I'm just saying. I mean, I've heard people say it's Dwayne Wade. I've I've heard people say and these are people that that prominent players from from Chicago. Who is the best Basketball player out of Chicago, Tim Hardaway. That went to the NBA? Best player. Out, yeah. <laughs> however you want to slice it, the game. I'm going to tell you this. It was some bad players that, that didn't did, make, that it. Did yeah. make it. That could ball. That yeah. could ball. And, and, and that taught us. Yeah. Okay. That taught us to and, and took us to where we need to go. Yeah. So. Uh, best player out of Chicago, man. Come on. Best player you're, you're the out of Chicago. Person, you're the perfect person to ask this question. Oh man, you know I'm, I have my thoughts. Bro. I'm 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 gonna say uh, I'm gonna say Isaiah Thomas. You know from where he came from and what he did, 
in high school, college, and NBA. How he changed people's lives. Uh, I'm talking strictly basketball. I'm, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Strictly basketball. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people in basketball, um, we could play. Mm-hmm. But when you saw Isaiah play, you saw Mark Aguirre play. That's the best right there. You, 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 you got it in there. You didn't get it in there to, from the start, but you got it in there. Right. And Mark will tell you that he's the best. He came to your retirement right. uh, party afterwards. Yeah. And, and and echo those sentiments. If yes. I'm not yeah. Saying. Mark, Mark, Mark. Come on, man. Fat daddy. <laughs> dude, dude. People was running like him, shooting like him. Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark, man. He, he, I mean, man, he, DePaul, he, he, he made DePaul. Yes. I mean, I, but I mean, he was doing, I mean, he, Fat Daddy was nice. That's what we call him, Fat Daddy. Yeah, Mark yeah, Guy. I mean, no. he put that he put that on you and and shoot it on you and and yeah. he was. I mean, it, 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 his charisma yeah. and how he talked and yes, how he sir. played and, and how himself. he ran, how he carried yes. himself. Everybody yes. was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm Mark Guy." So yeah, yeah. you know, it, it, Isaiah and Mark. I, I would say, I, I Mark. What about what about D Wade? I mean, it's just so many guys, man. Out of, out of, you know, we out had of Chicago, we man. had a guy, we had a guy. That um, um got killed and Ben Wilson. I don't know who Ben is. You know, and um I went to Illinois, so yeah, of course you know Ben. Ben, ben uh, was one of those guys that was right there. Mm-hmm. That was gonna be the, one of the best guys that come out of Chicago. And um nobody was really able to see his talent mm-hmm. because it was um shortened. But um Ben Wilson was whew, he was a motherfucker. Mm. He was a motherfucker. That's all I could tell you. But uh <laughs> better than Mark, better than Zeke, better than D Wade, Twan, Twan had yeah. I mean Twan yeah, in high I, school. Twan, I mean, Twan, I, was, Twan nice. was nice in high school. Yeah. No, no, Twan was really nice in I high know. school. No, I'm telling you, Ben Wilson, I'm Isaiah and Mark will tell you, Ben Wilson was nice. He was real nice. He was really nice. But, you know, he we don't know how. You know what it was because it, it was shortened, but man, he was who he was, coming. He, he was right there with Mark and right there with Isaiah. Mm-hmm. He was right there. You you do you think uh, guys like D Wade? Do you think they recognize that Isaiah and Mark? I mean, you, you in all due respect to them, do you think they recognize how great Isaiah was in high school, college? Of course, the they do. I do. I do. Okay. Yes. I and did. I forgot about my man. Michael Finley, yeah, 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 he knows. Yeah. He knows. You know, you you talking about Doc Rivers. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, it God, was, Doc and I watched the draft together. Yeah, I mean, it, it's yeah. a lot of guys that came out of Chicago. Terry Cummings. Terry, yes. You know. Mickey Johnson. Mickey Johnson. Ricky Green. Ricky Green. Green. Mo I mean, Cheeks. Mo. <laughs> the list goes you on know, and on. You know, it just goes on and on and on. But yeah. you know, we got we had a lot of guys from Chicago. Uh, that didn't make it to the league, but a lot of guys that did make it to the league. And, you know, you had Dallas Comedies. You had, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, man, it was a lot. Played of, a little bit. Yeah, played a little bit. Yeah. But it was a lot of guys from Chicago, man, that, uh, uh, that, that, man, I mean, you just watch their career. Reggie how they, Theus. Reggie Theus. Man, Goodness. man, it was a lot of people, man. No, Reggie's not from Chicago. He's not from Chicago, he but, he, but he played there. I stand corrected. Yeah, he played in Chicago. Mm-hmm. That's it. Reggie's from California. And, and a lot of people think that Michael Jordan's from Chicago. Michael yeah, Jordan's from not, North Carolina, yeah, people. He's not from Carolina. <laughs> he's not. He just put the Bulls on a map. Isaiah wouldn't be going after him <laughs> oh, if he was from Chicago. Right. No, no, he would not be. <laughs> Listen, we, we, you and I, we, we, we had our wars in the league, and we do a segment called Fact or Fiction on Harp's Court, right? Fact or Fiction, I gave you all you wanted when we competed against each other. Facts. <laughs> no question. <laughs> we had some wars. We man. had some wars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you, it, it, when you play, when I somebody played against you, yeah. you had to bring it or you're going to embarrass them. Yeah, Absolutely. You're going to embarrass them. Yeah. You're going to take the ball away from them. You're going, to, you're going to stop them from dribbling. They're not going to want to dribble against you. I've yeah, seen yeah. people that did like, nah, yeah. I'm just going to throw the ball over well, here right. and I'm just going to run down the court. <clears throat> More guys in our little era. We, we, our, 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 the West was stacked. Fat yes. Lever. Yes. Gary Payton. Yes. Kevin Johnson. Yes. 
was was, was yes. in that West at the time. Terry Porter, yes, was in the West. John Stockton, John Stockton was in the West. Yes, when we were in our primes. Yes. Why does Kevin Johnson? Oh, why is he so forgotten as a player? I keep telling folks that. They was like, who who went at you the very first time? I said, Kevin yeah, Johnson. Gave me problems. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Kevin Johnson gave yeah. me problems. Gave me problems. I mean, like, like, uh, like you, you the what he did to me my first game, mm-hmm. I, 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 I I was I was, I couldn't wait to get back to him. Yes. I took it personal. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. took it personal. You know, Don Nelson was like, yeah, see. That's the way I want you to AJ. play. Oh my God. He had a crossover oh, and man. he crossed you over and dunk on you. I, I mean, think Kevin Johnson might be. I thought it was me and some other people, but I think Kevin Johnson is probably one of the most underrated yes. players ever to play in the NBA. He is. He was underrated. Don't nobody talk about him at all. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, when I when I bring that name up, people were like, "Wow, I forgot about him." Why did you forget about him? How could you forget right. about him? Right. What well, if you could change Tim anything about the NBA right now? The the NBA is fantastic. Yes. Use the old slogan. What what would you change about the game right now? Would you change anything if you had the power to change it? I would. I would have the referees give quicker technicals so people would stop. Um. Um. You know, getting on them. Leave the referees alone. Mm-hmm. Get your butt down the court. Mm-hmm. Stop ragging on them all the time. You know that that's what I would do. You know, don't because you hurting your team. If if you leave the referees alone and stop looking at the at the referees, yeah. you will play like we used to play in the streets. Yeah, you know, you call a foul. They not giving you that, that foul. They they're like, no, that's not a foul. You know, like I like I used to like we used to have to you know dribble the ball. And if you carry the old guys, be like, "That's a carry." <laughs> you be like, "No, that's not a carry." People don't know what a carry. Is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so we're so, aging ourselves. I'm talking it, about carry. Yeah, you carry, but you know that that's what I would I would change. Leave the referees alone because they're doing the best that they can do, and they 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 are. Uh, I think that the more you get on them, the more they're they're not blowing the whistle and and and, and, and like uh, guessing on calls now. Right. You know, but if you stay off of them, they get the calls correct. Right. What, um, you know, LeBron is about to catch Kareem. No question. As the all-time uh, leading scorer in the NBA, in NBA history. Are you are you surprised and are you Mike or LeBron? Everybody, as far as the GOAT is concerned. I'm Mike all the way, the GOAT. Exactly. All right, but you got to understand, LeBron came into the league at 17, 18. right. You know, Mike. What? Mike went to. He went to school for two years. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, if you had to start a team. You going, Mike? Yes, I'm going, Mike. I'm going, Mike. I I, I just I just seen what what Mike had to deal with and how he had to grow, just like LeBron, mm-hmm. just like LeBron. Um, but Mike, he got the killer instinct. Mm-hmm. He's gonna go out there and Born kill you. With it. Yes, he's gonna go out, go out there and kill you. I mean, like kill you. I love LeBron. I love what he does. I love how he has, you know, revolution the game as being a point guard, a forward, uh-huh. <laughs> whatever, a uh, center, all that. Love that. But, um, you know, I'm going with Mike and um, because he made the game easier for you. He just made it easier for you. You know, he he got the ball. He passed to the right people when he double team. Yeah, I'm going to be ready to shoot, you know. But, but, but that... You know, you still had a team. Mm-hmm. You know, they put the team together. You know, like like I I tell folks, I don't know why, I I never been in their shoes. I never knew the man personally, mm-hmm. uh, Jerry Krause. I mean, yeah. Jerry, uh, yeah, Cry- it was Krause. Yeah, Jerry Krause. Krause. Yeah. But to me, he put that team together, mm-hmm. and Phil Jackson made it work. Mm-hmm. So. When they say, um, you know, they didn't like him or whatever, 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 that guy did his job. He did what he's supposed to do. He did it how he's supposed to do it. And he made that team, uh, he got those guys to play. I'm mean, not play, but he got those guys that knew how to play. And he told Phil to get, them, get it to work. And that's what happened. He got talent and he got it to work. 
you know, and and that's what I like about uh, Jerry Krause. And, um, you know, he he, uh, he passed away a while back. Uh, but, you know, he I thought he was one of the greatest general managers in the league. Mm, that's interesting. And, and I'm going to tell you this. So. The the uh, um, Scotty Pippen. Yeah. All right. He signed he signed a contract. Okay, I, I signed I signed a similar contract too. All right, I was hurt mm -hmm. in my career. I know exactly what he was talking about. You know, I had to take care of my family. I had to go with this. I couldn't. I didn't want to sign a one one year deal because if I sign that one year deal, what if I get hurt again? Yes. And then my my value goes down some mm -hmm. more. You know, at that particular time, they wouldn't sign. If you get hurt, even though they know you was tough yep. and nice. Yeah, they wouldn't sign you for a long period. That's right. They they gonna bring your level down. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not like today. Right. Okay. So so we had to do what we had to do. I was on that first team All NBA. He was on that first team All NBA. But we had signed that four year deal, and you we had to oblige by that. I knew Pat Riley and Mickey Harrison was not going to like tear that contract up. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that. You're gonna have to ride it out. You're gonna have to ride it out. Yeah. And so I understand. I understood business. what Scott, now it's business. I understood, understood what Scotty mm -hmm. was saying. All right, but they told you not to sign that deal. Go with the one year deal. You got you. It, it, you got to roll that dice. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you not gonna do? And I feel for Scotty, and I understand his pain with that. Right. But you gotta. You still gotta oblige by that contract or what you signed. You know, so that that's all I got to say about that because I had to oblige by it. Yeah. So, Tim, you played a long time in the league, man. We we both did. I got sixteen and a half years that I played in the NBA. Do you ever stop, man, and reflect on a little round ball that you dribble, shoot, pass? Do you ever stop and reflect on what basketball provided you as a human being? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, when I sit in my chair <laughs> and, 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 and begin to watch my son play, mm -hmm. I, um, and this is all the time. Yeah. I, I reflect on from beginning when I was at Cone Elementary School on the South Side of Chicago, all the way up until the end of my career. I could really, really look back and see and, and, and reminisce on games from grammar school, mm -hmm. from high school, from college to the NBA, and I and I and my friends where I've been at, uh, how uh, you know the NBA uh, has taken me and my family to places where we can't we. Couldn't even imagine. From Chicago, kid from Chicago. Right, kid from Southside Chicago. Yeah. You know, my parents, you know, my brother, mm -hmm. you know, uh, man, it, it, it's just been every day I, 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 you know, I thank the man above mm. and say thank you because without you giving me this talent and putting these people around me to keep my mind together, keep me mm. strong, I wouldn't be able to do it. Without them and you and him, and then I get to you know Nelly, Haskins, Pat. Then I get to my 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 teammates. Mm. Then I get to you know like me and you with the battles. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, sometimes I man, sometimes I I put it, I throw a tape in or a CD in, and, and I <laughs> just really look at it, just look at the game, <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah. like, man, look at this, man, look how we was playing, look how Captain fast we was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not fast anymore. And I, I'm going to leave you with this one, Tim. This, this is the last question. I appreciate your time so no, much. No, thank you. But if you had to tell a young man, a young kid that has NBA aspirations, what, how, do, how do you get there? How do you find your way to the Hall of Fame as a, as a, as a basketball person? That's a great question. Um, and I look at my career. You got to be patient. You got to work on your craft. You got to be confident about yourself. You can't let anybody take your confidence away from you. Mm -hmm. 
You got to know what you're doing out there. You know, you got to pay attention to details. Mm. You know, you got you got to scout. Got to watch film. A lot of these kids don't understand. It's a lot of work. Mm. It's a lot of work, and we we did that work. Yes, sir. Because we wanted to do that work. We had fun doing that work. And I tell kids today, like I'm telling you right now, Mm -hmm. you got to have confidence in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. You can't let nobody tear you down. When I was growing up every day, I heard somebody every day say, you're not tough enough. You're too small. Mm Mm-hmm. You can't, you can't make it this. You can't do that. You, I wanted to go out there and prove people wrong every day. And that's what I strive to do every day is to prove people wrong. So when I step out on that court, my buddies, they knew when I stepped out on that court, I'm going to fuck somebody up. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up. It don't, don't take this personal. <laughs> right. But I'm going to fuck you up. And that was my whole idea. When I walked out on that court, yeah. on that, that four lines, I'm going to give it to you. And that was the way I was. That's what Chicago taught me. Mm. And I, I, don't, I don't know nothing else. Mm-hmm. I don't know nothing else. And I tell people, it's like taking food out of your mouth. You want people to take food out your mouth when you're hungry? Right. <laughs> Go out there and show them that, you know, that you you one of the best and you want to be one of the best. But I, I tell kids, you know, you're not going to never be like me. They're not going to never be like you. They're right. not going to never be like LeBron. They're not going to never be like Steph. But I say, work on your game. Work on your game. Work on your it, – it, and, 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 and don't tell me that you can't do it by yourself. I did it by myself. Mm-hmm. I rode to the court on a bike with no seat on it. Right. Had my ball in between the, the frame of the bike, climbed up on the uh, the uh, basket, yeah. put the nets on on both ends, Preach, brother. and played by myself mm-hmm. and shot by myself on a half moon mm-hmm. <laughs> outside on concrete. Yeah. So when a kid says, I can't do it by myself, please, please. Yeah. A lot of good stuff, man. I, I I really appreciate it. Um, could you could you survive in this era of players? No question. <laughs> okay. I think we both could. <laughs> I'm so the, the, well, way I, well, the way I the way I was checking it all out. Uh, the way our minds yeah. was, man. Come on, man. Yeah. No, I'm teasing. This it's a joke question, but we had fun. We would have had fun in this era. Yeah. We had fun in our era, but we would have. Oh, wow, wow. Man, listen. I appreciate you coming on, and your new name is. No longer Tim Crossover. It's Hall of Famer, man. I'm proud and happy for Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for coming on Harp's Court. Yeah, I appreciate you, All man. Right. Always All right. did. All right. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir.